John, a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open, and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26 with the New England Patriots. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. On first and 10, Newton. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. Newton's pass. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run for the first time now with James White. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michelle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The ball carrier. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst. Nice gain, too. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. A play fake to Michelle. Now Newton. His throw incomplete. The intended receiver, Sony Michelle, and it's third and short. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chain. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Newton on first down. Flush to his right. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. Five yards remain on second down. Just beating the play clock is Newton. He's going to take off with it. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. First down, here's White. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. After the interception, here's Watson. And this one grabbed by Darren Fells. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. 
One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. The first carry now, this is Johnson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Second and 11. Out of the gun, Watson. They'll roll him out right. Now he'll pull it down. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. It's a gain of six. Brings up no score after one on EA Sports. The end of the first quarter with no score. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. He finds his target, Fuller. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First target, first catch, and a first down. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Dick. And he's going to go down, back near midfield at the 49. It's the former Michigan man, Chase Winovich, who gets in there to bring him down. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. After the sack on first down, Watson flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Brings up third and five. From the gun, here's Watson being chased out left. He may try and run for this. Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's gonna really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. From the gun, Watson throwing the out route incomplete. It's Fuller. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 25-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. First down, it's Watson. Forced out to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Dietrich Wise in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. 
Fuller was the intended target. And it's third down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Watson. Now he's flushed out left. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. The J.J. Taylor, the intended target, out of the backfield. And now it's second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. On second and ten, Newton. And on the connection, this is Ryan Izzo complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw is Newton. This is White on the screen. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. From the red zone now, Newton. This will be caught just inside the 10. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So first and goal from the nine-yard line. Throwing again is Newton. Dancing to his left. And the Patriots are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. From the two now, second and goal. And they will run it with Michelle. And the stiff arm proved fruitful for a second, but the daylight quickly snuffed out. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. And the ball near inches from the white line on third and goal. A shotgun snap for Newton. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. J.J. Taylor as the first half is winding down as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. 
and that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front, and now see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes the score 7-0. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away from the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Check, check. On first down, Watson. On the catch, it's Duke Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And likely just out of field goal range could be Hail Mary time. And haven't we seen in recent years that the Hail Mary seems to be more successful <laughs> in the NFL than before? Absolutely we have. For the field goal, a 63-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And the half will begin with a touchback. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He's back to throw here to start the drive. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Fuller. And he'll be out right at the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time. But it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. The last run got six. Now second and four. Here's Watson. Completing it to the right side. Johnson. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Six yards up, and that's a first down. The screen was executed and completed, but where's the worry on the play? How many times is a quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive linemen have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks. But you got to slow them down a little bit, because if you don't, that's a lot of big guys coming at your quarterback in a big, fast way. And boy, he can get hurt. It's caught left side by Cooks. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On second down now, it's Johnson. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. No and that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Watson. 
And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Buying time to his left. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, that was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Second and 10. Thanks for tagging along with us here from Houston, Texas. Out of the gun, Newton. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. And 10 yards to go. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and 10. From the gun, here's Newton. The pass complete. It's Bird. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Back now in Houston. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. New England on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and three. Got his man. That's Harry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. You ran the previous play. Set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. Steps away to his left. He'll try and run it, and down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. It's second and seven from the nine. 
Operating from the gun. Newton. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That catch good for five. It's third down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Third and two, Newton. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They run for it with Harris, and he is not going anywhere. They stop it for no gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down, and that will force a turnover on downs. Start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They go to Johnson again. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, Watson. Now a desperation throw. He's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Watson hitting Fuller with a big one. 43 yards. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Now it's Watson. He'll look underneath and dump it off to Duke Johnson. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Three yards the game there, second down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. It's hurry-up mode time for the Texans, hustling up to the line. Back to throw. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Now Watson, he's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. 
Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Back to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Watson. This will be caught inside the 10. And he's brought down after a very nice game. The play began back at the 23, and they pick up 23. Down and go to go. Today's final score. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long from Houston.